All right, mile 22. Mark Wahlberg. According to the government, we do not exist for Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I <I'm trained. laughs> Ronda Rousey ruins a lot. If we fail, there is no backup plan. We are going to watch. We will get things done. My government is flying in an attack on the United States. Let's just get another plane and give you everything. That's a guy from the raid. Two here, mile twenty-two. Sit the drive. Are you ready? We got fight time. Feeling coming on? Are you? I'm totally calm. That's a good one. Thank you. Are you ready? Contact me. Contact me. Get out of there. Alright, mile twenty two. What do you think about that? Not my kind of movie. No? I thought it was for sure. Ronda Rousey's in it. Yeah. I don't... Ronda's Rousey act... <clears throat> Let me try that again. Ronda Rousey's acting style is just putting lemons in her mouth. She just has the same angry face, like, I'm so tough, and it it doesn't work. Like, I know she's tough. Mm -hmm. I get it. But I feel like that's not how she acts in real life. That's how she. That's how she acts when she's trying to be tough. Like... When she squares up with an opponent, she does that. But when she's like in interviews or just talking to people, she's just like a normal person. And that's really tough people don't have to make you think they're tough with their face. Yeah. Because they're not really that afraid of you attacking them. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, and uh, she just, I don't know. I don't know if it's the direction that she gets or if it's her, like, her own thing. Because she was in... Fast and the Furious, uh, I think seven, mm -hmm. and she did the same thing. She just was like, "I'm so angry all the time and <laughs> constipated that she just has no acting range." And so that makes me really nervous about this yeah. movie. But I, I have a feeling that she's gonna die off. Like, it looks like so. It looks like they have like a special team mm -hmm. that works together, and my guess is that team is gonna die off and leave. Uh, Mark Wahlberg to work with I don't remember his name but the guy from the raid work together to finish the mission so that's why he's like can I trust you because I don't have my previous team I don't have any basis for that but uh, just based on movies I've seen before mm -hmm. so you don't want to see Mile 22? Uh, I don't think so it's, it's cool that they got the guy from the raid in it though because it looks like the action scenes are going to be um, well done. There's that, that fight in the kitchen. Let's see, according to what I heard about the movie, they toned down her role pretty much to a placeholder character because she's wooden dummy that can't act. Yeah, yeah, no, she, uh, she's in the WWE now, which I feel like you have to be charismatic to do that, or you should you have to be. To be a professional actress. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen her in it at all, but I can't imagine. It's very good. Well, I mean, that's kind of is her character, is that she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> you look just like Ronda Rousey when you do that. <clears throat> I just need to bulk up a little bit. <laughs> Work on your arm bars. She's doing pretty good in WWE, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't seen her. Is she on the mic at all? Or is she uh, just throwing people around? Because I feel like that's really what you would use her for. Better than anyone gave her credit or predicted. Well, I don't give her much credit, so she's probably doing better than I thought. <laughs> now, what do you think about Ronda Rousey going to the WWE? I get it. Like, I mean, she was an amazing UFC fighter. She yeah. paved the way for women through the UFC, and I appreciate her talent and her skill. But like, she she was done. Yeah. You know, she yeah. she had to find something else to do, something to make money, something she enjoys. Like yeah. it's not I don't want to watch it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like I get it. Good for her that she is uh 
She she comes off as very out of her element on the mic sometimes. Yeah, there was a uh, an interview with her. I don't know if you ever heard it, but she after she retired, she had a stipulation where like, don't talk to me about fighting. I'm not going to talk to you about fighting. That's and so, but everyone was like, well, we don't. That's all we care about. Mm-hmm. But her body language and stuff is what carries her more than her words. Her promos will never be as high level. Well, what body language though? Just grumpy (laughs) Um, but so she's in this interview and the guy says oh do you think with in time you'll ever go do you do you ever think you'll go back to the ufc go back in time do you ever think you'll go back in time to the ufc right there's a comma there do you ever think you'll go back comma in time Uh comma to the ufc and she's like are you talking about time travel? <laughs> well, that's what it sounded like when you recap the situation. Well, so. One, I screwed it up five times beforehand. But two, he was like, no, I'm not talking about time travel. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm talking about in time. Will you go back? I don't know how to time travel. And it's just them bickering back and forth because she was like, I'm not talking about fighting. I'm just going to be grumpy. <laughs> She stands there and scales constantly. What you see her do everywhere else. What what you see her do everywhere else. This is what she does. Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That to me, Plague, that seems like an anti selling point. Like I would avoid it more, but Max Glaze, what's up? We're just watching some trailers. You just missed Mile twenty two.